Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is iCargos with another video. And it is with great gusto and enthusiasm that I present for your viewing pleasure the top 10 rarest hunter pets in all of World of Warcraft. These pets are unobtainable. They're the ultra primo creme de la creme collector's items that only OG hunters are in possession of. Now, if you have one of these pets, congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. You're kind of a big deal. Let's roll. Number 10, the Lone Hunter. The Lone Hunter is a ghost wolf in the eastern plaguelands with a sword lodged snugly in his ghost head. Now he's not all that rare of a spawn, but if I were to tame him right now, he would lose the sword from his head. He would just look like a transparent wolf, which is pretty cool. But once upon a time, uh, hunters were able to finesse the game with a abandoned pet macro where you could keep the sword in his head. So Blizzard later fixed this, and uh, you can't tame him anymore with the sword in his head. But if you were one of the lucky few to tame him back in the day, you get to keep him. Number 9, the Grim Totem Spirit Guide. So the Grim Totem Spirit Guide is one of the most legendary storied hunter pets of all time. It existed back in Vanilla WoW, where it resided in Dust Wallow Marsh. Here's the thing, they would spawn and despawn in 7.5 seconds. That was your time timing window, so you could not tame him through traditional methods. You needed a priest with mind control, a shaman with bloodlust, someone with drums, and someone using a mystical skyfire diamond. It was the only way to tame him. So until shortly after patch 2.3.2, they were the only tameable spirit wolves, and to this day, they are the only wolf with a spirit-like like appearance that aren't classified as a spirit beast, just a regular, normal, non-exotic wolf. So, the bizarre appearance of the wolf, in addition to the unusual taming method, made people suspicious that they would be removed, and they were, in January 14, 2008. But, if you tamed him beforehand, Blizzard let you keep him. Number 8, the Spirit of Kusu. So, the Spirit of Kusu was a spirit taking the form of an ooze that could be summoned and cleansed from the waters of Sholazar Basin through a daily level 80 quest called a cleansing song. Now, for whatever reason, maybe this spirit ooze has an identity crisis or whatever, but the game categorized him as a tameable crocolisk, and he would function as such. So his sound effects and, and his, his stats would all be uh, that of a crocolisk. So on January 20th, 2009, patch 3.0.8, during Wrath of the Lich King, he was patched and made no longer tameable. But if you were able to tame him beforehand, then you can still use him to this day. Number 7, the Spirit Boar of Razorfen Crawl. The Spirit Boar of Razorfen Crawl had a spirit like appearance and armor, but wasn't categorized as a spirit beast. He is summoned by Agam Thorncurse, often considered to be the first boss in Razorfen Crawl. Agam would use a spell Summon Boar Spirit, which created the boar that fought alongside him for approximately 40 seconds. If you killed Agam, the boar would despawn, and the boar had very few hit points, so it required a patient group who was down to let you let you tame him. He was tameable for many months and many years, but for whatever reason, in Warlords of Draenor, he was removed as a tameable beast. Number 6, the Gorishi Grub. Now, the Gorishi Grub was the only green maggot model in the game, and was made no longer tameable in patch 5.2. To tame this grub, you needed to travel to the Slithering Scar in Ungoro Crater. You would then go to the bottom of the cavern and aggro Clutch Mother Zavis, a rare spawn in the nest. You then had to wait for her to lay an egg, and then wait for that egg to hatch into a grub. Once it hatched into a grub, you could tame it, uh, and then it would turn from a small little tiny green thing into a massive nasty green monstrosity. So if you have this pet, congratulations. Number 5, the Oil Stained Wolf. The oil-stained wolves could be seen in the Borean Tundra patrolling around this refinery with oil spewing everywhere. Now, back in the day, you'd be able to tame these and have them retain their oily appearance, but if you try to do it today, you can't do it. Uh, so back in the day, you would use this Tame Kill Revive method. This consisted of getting a friend to accompany you to the pet. Uh, you would duel, and while you were taming the pet and doing your channeled ability, uh, you're, you would be spamming this Revive Pet macro. Now, within 0 .03 seconds of you completing your tame, your friend would have to one-shot the wolf, causing it to immediately despawn. You wouldn't get any golden flash indicating you successfully tamed the pet, you would not see it in your pet slots, and you could not revive the pet. However, if you logged out and logged back in, 
tried to summon him, you'd get your pet with the oily appearance intact. This is one of the few appearance buff pets that retain its appearance even on death. So you can raid with it, you can do whatever you want with it, but you can't go into a time walking dungeon or an arena because it will strip it of its effect. Number 4, Garwal. Garwal is a level 71 wolf NPC that can be found in the Howling Fjord. This mob is the objective of the Wrath of the Lich King quest Alpha Warg. When fighting Garwal, he would transform from a warg to a worgen when he hits about 50% health. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you could have an armored worgen as a pet at one point. In order to tame the worgen, he had to be right in the middle of his transformation at the very moment your Tame Beast channel completed. Garwal was soon hotfixed to be nearly useless. Talents, stats, and abilities were removed. He couldn't be buffed or fed, he couldn't be named, and Garwal was now labeled untamable. But kudos to you if you tamed him in time. Number 3, the Spirit of Ha Kalan. The Spirit of Ha Kalan is the spirit of an albino crocolisk that can be summoned using a Chime of Cleansing item at the River's Heart in Skolazar Basin. He was added in Wrath of the Lich King patch 3.0.2 and made no longer tameable as of January 20th, 2009 on patch 3.0.8. However, if you were lucky enough to tame him in time, you, know, you now have an albino spirit crocodile that isn't considered a spirit beast. Number 2, the Emerald Dreamway Pup. Not a lot is known about the Emerald Dreamway Pup other than it being insufferably cute, and many people are still speculating to this day how hunters got this as a pet. Some people think that you needed a warlock to summon you there through recruit a friend, but as you can imagine, that setup would take quite a lot of time, so that's why this pet is so exceptionally rare. Blizzard soon hotfixed this, so this is no longer tameable by anyone, but if you were one of the few hunters that tamed this in time, kudos to you and your usage of clever game mechanics. And finally, number one, the Exploded Raptor, otherwise known as the Campfire Pet. Um, this is the most insane pet of them all, and I find it hard to believe that this even existed in-game. But, once upon a time, you were, able, you were able to tame a simple flame patch on the ground as a pet. Um, so the trick to getting this pet revolved around a quest at the north end of the Southern Barrens. There is a quest there called Sowing a Solution, which tasked you to use soothing seeds on six deviant terror tooths or deviant plane striders and observe the results. You would use this item on a raptor or a plane strider and it would spontaneously combust, so to speak. To get this pet, you needed a friend who hadn't completed the quest to use the quest item on it right as your team was finishing. If done properly, the raptor would explode and when revived be a simple flame patch on the ground that would be classified as a raptor. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you did. Uh, let me know what future videos you'd like to see, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.